Hey, and welcome to another exciting little video. Today we're going to record a track and compare different types of tape saturation. We're going to record the track onto a tape, a cassette, and compare that to a hardware unit set out to emulate tape saturation. And we're going to compare it to a plugin set out to emulate tape saturation as well. And at the end of the video, we're going to compare these uh, recordings back to back. I have to say that this is not a scientific experiment at all. I'm just going to find out and I'm curious uh, which sound I prefer the most. And you're welcome to participate and add your um, uh, opinions in the comment section as well. So uh, let's go. And this is a brand new tape, a chrome cassette. It's never been played, it's never been recorded on. So it's brand new, new old stock. And I'm gonna record the drums and I'm gonna record a little demo track on this tape. You're not listening to the recorded tape right now. You're listening to the things coming out of the DAW. Even though this uh, cassette deck has a noise reduction system, both Dolby B and Dolby C, I'm not using anything of that here. This is a plain recording. Well, that's recorded. Let's rewind the tape and check out how it sounds. Well, no surprises here. The stereo image is nearly gone, which was expected. It sounds like someone has strapped a uh, graphic EQ to this now with a big, nice smiley curve. And of course, there's a lot of tape compression and tape saturation going on. And overall, it reminds me of the early 90s listening back in my car. And even if this was a brand new tape, I can hear a lot of imperfections in the tape itself. But overall, I love it. Let's run the track through a hardware unit now, a VCA compressor and a transient shaper from Tegeler Audio. The Magnetismus 2, and I've set it up as close as I can to emulate tape saturation. Well, this doesn't sound nearly as thin as the, as the tape saturation with its smile EQ. This is almost the opposite. It preserves a lot more of the loudness and the bass, and everything seems and sounds louder than the tape compression. But there's still some saturation there. Here's a tape saturation plugin. I think this reminds me a lot of the hardware unit actually, not much difference there. It preserves a lot more loudness and bass than the tape saturation itself with the cassette deck. So uh, between the hardware unit and the plug-in, I think the differences are quite uh, minimal. 
Let's check out everything in an A, B, C, D comparison back to back. Well, what version did you prefer? Let me know in the comment section. As always, I'm Espencroft. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Cheers.